Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to WCW. We got an amazing show for you guys here tonight. Indeed we do here because we're kicking things off with some new guys here for WCW. They go by Imperium. You got Evan, Dylan, and Dustin. And they also got two other members of the other group. Which we'll go over some things at the end of this video ladies and gentlemen. The following contest is a six-man tag team match. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 663 pounds, Imperia! And Imperium is making their way down to the ring, ladies and Imperium! gentlemen. And they're looking geared up and ready, and the crowd just chanting tag team wrestling because yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is tag team wrestling. Indeed it is. This is WCW Wrestling. We got a lot of amazing things to happen here on the card. Now, I don't know everything that's on the card here tonight because everything was chosen by YouTube himself. Now, when it comes to the show, it will be the mindset of Eric Bischoff, Chris Carter Sr., and myself, and some other EVPs of legends back in the past from WCW that are still wanting to, you know, be in the wrestling business and the ones that are still alive the ones that are dead r.i.p we miss y'all but we got no we didn't evan everett we got i believe that's dustin and i believe that is dylan and they are imperium ladies and gentlemen and they won't back it down but we got an amazing team that they're going to face ladies and gentlemen because miles mcgregor found two people now i know my broadcast partner he, he told me he doesn't know how he feels about terry owens in the team but Terry Owens, he fits the team in my eyes pretty well because it's all three people from different parts of the world. And, hey, I mean, people got their opinions, though. But he's a good wrestler, and so is Tommy. And Terry and Tommy, they're going to show everyone and that they're the newcomers. And a combined weight of 737 pounds. The Brawling Brutes! But as I said, they're going to show everyone that they're great enough wrestlers that they're going to be able to kick on and carry the show when people like Miles McGregor, my sons, Chris Carter's sons, some of the other OGs like Adam and Colt and Elijah and Jack and all that, and Zach, and, you know, and the Masked Man, and, you know, Randy and Blake and... The Punisher and the Midnight Express and BBD, you know? Like, when people like the OGs start to leave, these newcomers gotta take over. And that's what's being showcased here. You got one OG leading a team of two newcomers, and you got a team of a whole new faction that's never been showcased here. Ladies and gentlemen, I am none other than Firefly Gaming, and we're kicking things off here with WCW, ladies and gentlemen, with a YouTube tournament show that's going to feature three championship matches at the end. And as we got a tag, and oh, and Miles McGregor getting taken down by another than oh, and just taking Evan Everett down. And I believe that's Dylan or that Dustin. I'm not sure exactly who they are. They might have to put their names in their trunks. <laughs> or get a different hairstyle or something. I have to talk to one of them about it. But no. But we got three championship matches. I'm going to be in the main event, ladies and gentlemen. And then out of RP, my son's going to take over. Going for the pen. One, two. It was only too sweet indeed it was ladies and gentlemen but no as i said i'm going to be in the main event my broadcast partner the outlaws is reforming here tonight ladies and gentlemen one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten beats of the balvin right there ladies and gentlemen but yeah i'm going to be in the main event ladies and gentlemen and if you all recognize what you're seeing back when i was Mr. Reef 16 and a little bit of Mickey Rose in 95 on the console days from 2K16 to 2K19. I did WCW RP. So if you are someone that is a little familiar with that, you'll see a lot of the creations I did back in the day because I do 100 credit wrestlers, 100 credit gimmicks with 100 plus non copyright music. And now, since I'm on the computer side, I could do so much editing. I could do all these crowd chants, these crowd like. 
I, I could I could do a lot of things, you know, and it's it's amazing. And we're here, and we're showcasing some of the wrestlers here on the show, and then we're gonna kick off with some championship matches, and then we got a lot of amazing other things that's gonna take place throughout 2023. And Tommy is tagged in, and him, and I believe Dylan or Dustin, it's one of the two, are going after one another, but. I want to let y'all know, I am getting 2K24 in the future, and when I do get 2K24 in the future, I'm going to take everyone that's from this version, and I'm going to slowly adapt them over to 24. Now, obviously, tattoos and certain things may look different and may not look the same. There's nothing I could do about that. Every version on the console, days back in the day, as Miles Burger gets taken down, but yeah, everything on the console days back in the day, basically that got changed and you know, basically every year they didn't look the same. As I said, my best credit wrestler for Mike Ross Jr., my son at an RP, it was 2K16. And I can never get those tattoos again and find that guy. And it is what it is, you know, type down. It sucks, but it is what it is. But we got amazing action amazing things that's going to take place in 24 when that does kick off in the future but i will still continue to do the 23 rp and then eventually we'll do our last show on 23 when i get everything set up and good and ready like i did here for 2k 23 and 24 and then we'll do our last episode on 23 and basically then we'll kick things off over in 24 and there will be some amazing things because there will be special guest referee matches which then I could do some RP for like the main shows and for the pay-per-views maybe I could let you know I mean time to time I could be the special guest referee but I could have like five slots open you know as Tommy and Mouse McGregor oh okay nice teamwork between those two right there but yeah i could do some rp and at least five slots open which yeah wouldn't be 100 credit wrestlers no more it'd be cool if we get more credit wrestler spots i doubt it it's probably still 100 but if we did that'd be cool or if we can get even just a credit referee spot you know like we could have like a total of like five referees would be great but i hope that if when you do special guest referee you could also choose a girl to be the special guest referee for a men's and women's match and a guy to be the special guest referee for a women's match you know so i mean because you could do that with the referees standard if not i mean it is what it is it sucks but i mean i could have a few women and a few men and swap them out every time you know so they're different like in real life television but there's going to be some other amazing matches like a bear to live match and I know if our broadcast partner is going to be in that game and the Undertaker is going to be in that game <laughs> some good RP for that in the future and I can't wait for that as Tommy is going to tag in Terry and Imperium oh Imperium is going to have to show what they they have if they want to try to win this one here tonight kicking things off here for WCW ladies and gentlemen the new era of WCW I should tell you but yeah so I can't I can't wait to see what things are going to take place in the new version but we'll still continue things on here in this version I haven't explored universe mode I know that there's new cutscenes and whatnot they got rid of the promos I hope they bring those back in 2k24 um, but they added more cutscenes and things that could happen now one thing they need to kind of make happen more often in my opinion and I've only seen it happen a handful of times on the console days I want to see more injuries cutscenes where a match could happen and you know and like when the match happens you know basically at the end if it's a brutal enough match you see the cutscene where the ref calls out for, you know, the guys in the back to come bring out the stretch and take the guy away. Like, that's cool. Because that would make for some really good RP. And then I want to see where they're injured and they can't be used or wrestled and whatnot. And they got to be off the show until, you know, declared and whatnot, you know. Oh, what are these guys doing? What are these guys doing? What are these guys doing? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. He was caught in the ropes right there. That wasn't good. 
Imperium, they got to do what they got to do to try to show their dominance if they want to take on this team. As they say, in my eyes, I found Tommy back in like late 2K19, and I said he was going to be a future world champion. I see the same thing for Terry Owens in the future. I mean, Terry Owens is younger than Tommy. Tommy's got a little bit more experience than Terry, but Terry is from Canada, and he's a true Canadian, unlike some fake Canadians. Name <clears throat> Jericho that claims from Winnipeg. <laughs> Although I like I like Jericho, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but yeah, no. Some good athletes, along with Miles Bergeger and OG, an amazing athlete. Maybe in the future I'll just have to you know talk to Terry Owens. Hey, I, we we need to change you up a little, you know. Make you fit the gimmick more, but I mean, for now, I mean, he's young, he's learning, and when he finds his groove and learns more from Miles McGregor and whatnot, and maybe a little bit from Tommy, because Tommy has about five years in the Indies, so I mean, but he's still pretty young. Going for the pin. One, two, Three. Oh, and your winners, ladies and gentlemen, is the Brawling Brutes, Mark McGregor, Terry Owens, and Tommy. Wow. What a way to kick off with the show. What a way for a victory for these three. I can't wait to see what the future is going to withhold when we kick off the main first episode of WCW, where it's going to be at the WCW Arena, and it's going to be where you're going to see the... WCW championships on the line because these YouTube championships are like, you know, the Owen Hart tournament. Here they win them, but it doesn't the really matter. Brutes. But it does because they won, and like, if the people win those championships here tonight, they get to say that they were the champions and they get to be it for the year into the next tournament, you know? So. You can gloat like you do in AEW for the Owen Hart, and you can gloat in here in WCW for the YouTube Internet Tournament. But we're kick kicking things off with our next match here, ladies and gentlemen. It is a women's match, I believe. I'm being told that. The air following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from Cheyenne, Wyoming, unhinged, Shirley Walker. And I'm glad my broadcast partner's not out here right now because. You know, he loves those. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> but yeah, and definitely in the way that this professional women's wrestler is looking, he'd probably be drooling over here. He's always drooled over the women wrestling. I've always told him that him and King would be a better commentator and he could replace me and get King. <laughs> They could probably do this better than me and my broadcast partner. But then again, a woman's match might happen, and there will be no talking about the match. It'll just be drooling about the match, and them trying to get them to come sit and do some commentary with them. You know, hey, come sit over here. Can't can't have that, Carter. <laughs> yeah. But Shirley Walker's looking good up and ready. Manhattan, New York. Ashley Webb. And here comes her opponent, Ashley Webb. Now, back in the day in WCW, when on the comps days, there wasn't too many versions of the women's division I did because, I mean, it's not that I didn't want them. It's just, I don't know. I felt like the mechanics for the women's wrestling wasn't as great because, you know, a lot of the women's revolution, yeah, it, it kind of happened with like Sasha and all them, but it happened when more of the cool things were happening, like the Hell in a Cell matches for women, you know, extreme matches for women, and, and it and made the mechanics for the women's dressing a little bit better because then you could do what the men do, but I mean, it's just a women on women, you know, I set up a man on man match, you know. Shirley Walker put a nice takedown and now punching Ashley Webb in the face. 
She's gonna have to do what she's gotta do. Shut a crowd here tonight. What she's all about. And so is Ashley. Who's gonna get the victory here for this very first episode, ladies and gentlemen? We are gonna find out. Indeed we are. Indeed we are. Do not go anywhere. Because we still got more amazing action. As I said with those YouTube titles on the line in the main event. You're gonna see me and my broadcast partner reforming the outlaws. And it's going to be very an amazing, an amazing match between one of the best teams I said from 2K16 all the way to 2K19, the Midnight Express and out of RP they beat people like, even though I don't got the content no more on my channel that you can't see no more but people like none other than the Briscoe Brothers, the Young Bucks the old members of NWO like Team 3D the Hardy Boys like and if I didn't mention the Bucks, the Bucks, but if I did, then, uh, yeah, like, they, they, they did a lot. They did a lot. And even a lot of the custom teams, like Punisher, Chris Barrett, and BBD, and many other teams I had back in the past that came and went. And if I could find any other person out in the world, one, two, to come wrestle. Once again, would be Angelo Zaccone, but I got in contact with him and he said he's he's done. He, he hung up the boots. And I had him back in 2K16 and the version I had of him and some of the attire presets that was given when I found the guy was, was really, really badass. I haven't found him ever since. But Shirley Walker is just taking it to Ashley Webb, stomping all over the back. She's saying this is her time, her time to shine. We're going to find out and if it is her time to shine indeed. Oh, backstabber there from Ashley Webb though. Shirley Walker saying, but guess what? That backstabber didn't do anything because I came out. And guess what? I'm coming back in. And now I should web saying, yeah, come on, let's go. I should web taking Ow! Nice arm drag right there. Now Ashley Web, what's on your mind? Wow. Oh Jesus. Jesus, Ashley. What was Oh, and going for the like Oh Jesus. Oh and nice knees. What a reversal there from Shirley Walker to Ashley. Going for that nice little flip sometimes the same the standing moon socks any type of standing moon socks whether it's forward backwards 360s whatever you can flip by standing there, there's some crazy wrestlers out there that do some crazy things no matter what it is you got to be careful because you, you may be flipping and doing all those amazing cool things and then all of a sudden as you're landing your eyes for a split second see those knees pop up you're donezo and when your opponent gets the upper hand and you got to try to get back into it but man, these two women are just giving it at all and they're saying this is wrestling but the ref is going for the pin wasn't even two, but they said that was too sweet. Crowds and going this match, indeed they are. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh! Nice drop kick to the head right there. Jesus, drop to the chest. Jesus! Oh, nice reversal right there. And Shirley Walker sitting there looking at Ashley Webb saying, come on, get back in. And Ashley Webb does get back in. The crowd liking this match and do as they're training. This is wrestling with Shirley Walker. Taking it to Ashley Webb into the corner with a nice, you know what, um, other than Trinity would say, the nice rear view. A nice rear view in the corner right there. She doesn't get as big as a booty as Trinity does to do a rear view, but you know, it could be a little effective with your bony, maybe. <laughs> oh, 
dragging that head straight to the mat. And she web goes to the pin. One, two, three. She gets the win. Congratulations, Ashley. Congratulations. Just taking that head. Bam. I mean, after just slamming that head so hard on the mat, goes for the pin, gets the one, gets the two, and gets Here the Here is your three. winner, Ashley Webb. And Ashley Webb celebrates, ladies and gentlemen. What an amazing match here tonight between those two beautiful, amazing, talented, professional women's wrestlers. But we're continuing things on with our next match here for the WCW YouTube Championship show. And there's a lot of smoke. What's going on? Oh. Oh, what's this? The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from out of this world. Weighing in at 275 pounds, the narcissist, A-list, Ace Jones. And the narcissist, Ace Jones, as the crowd was chanting, that's awesome as he rose up. It was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool entrance that this dude just made and that he's making down to the ring. But he's going to have to show whoever his opponent's going to be here tonight that... Yeah, my entrance is fancy and whatnot. And I had the crowd chanting, this is awesome. But, I mean, if you don't get the win, yeah, the crowd could say your entrance is awesome. But, I mean, doesn't mean you're awesome. <laughs> but, yeah, I wonder who his opponent's going to be. He is the narcissist Ace Jones, ladies and gentlemen. This is a scary man. This man, I found him in New Japan Pro Wrestling when I signed him. He did pretty good out there in my eyes, but just because you could do good in Japan, American wrestling in America is a little bit different than how Japan does it. Not saying that we couldn't do what Japan does, because we obviously probably could. All these wrestlers probably could withstand and withhold the Japan style of wrestling but we do things a little different here in America and it's a little different but yeah I wonder who he's facing though there's some crazy music going off what that is no Jack Foster ladies and gentlemen Holy indeed. And who is that? I believe that's someone that's going to be accompanying him to the ring here. So. Wow. Jack Foster is here, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to see how these two are going to go toe to toe. Got a newcomer. And then you got an OG like this man, Jack Foster. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy indeed. The crowd chanting this is awesome because this is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. And the lady that's out with him, ladies and gentlemen, she is going by Quinn Rose, ladies and gentlemen. Foster, he's showing a new side of himself. Wow. This is definitely amazing. You think the Narcissus Jones had an amazing entrance? Jack Foster just had an amazing entrance. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely awesome. Wow, this is wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Foster, the narcissist, Ace Jones, ladies and gentlemen. We got a newcomer versus an OG. Ace Jones. 
Lawrence taking it to the OG. Jack Foster. Jack Foster, we're going to have to see. Let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no, no, no. He's pulling off. Oh! He's pulling off a shade of uh, Chris Carter. Going to the middle ropes, doing the DDT right there. Well, oh, I thought he was going to land him on his head right there. It slams him on his back. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Are you serious? Crazy. Crazy. Wow. Ace Jones taking it to Jack Foster. He's got to shove it on what he's all about. He's going up against one of the best OGs. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. But Jack Foster, he's trying to fight his way back into this one. But no, they bump into each other. But Jack Foster still trying to do what he's ever got to do. Throws him into the corner. Oh, but no, bounced off and he grabbed him and took him down with a DDT. Nice reversal there from Ace Jones. Ace Jones gets reversed there by Jack Foster. Jack Foster saying you're dead. Slit in the throat. Oh, nice suplex. Dropping him on the back with that nice backdrop suplex right there. Oh, got him on the ropes right there. What is on Jack Foster's mind? What is on Jack Foster's mind? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, my. The hardest part of the ring goes to Ace Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Ace Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Jesus. Tongue twister right there. That is the dangerous part. Wow. Yeah, yeah, this is wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, wow, ow. That's a nice forearm right there from Ace Jones. Ace Jones going for the pin. One, two, no, only a two. Oh yeah, see, 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 the crowd's hearing me. <laughs> they never did this back in the concert days. <laughs> Y'all finally listen to me. <laughs> Y'all, you love my content? Oh, thanks, thanks, guys. Yeah, it's a little loud show. Probably couldn't hear them, but yeah, they're saying I got good content. I appreciate it. And if you love what you're seeing, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and follow for more to come here for the WCAB RP plus other things I do here on my channel ladies and gentlemen but Jack Foster taking it to the narcissist Ace Jones ladies and gentlemen well oh was that a spike to the well and he's choking him now Jesus Jack Jesus Jack well, well, well. Oh, nice slam on the ground. What a nice side slam right there. Just choke with him again. Come on, Jack. Come on. Jesus. The, the man might have a family. <laughs> now attacking the leg right there is Jack Foster. Onto the narcissist, Ace Jones. And now, what is on Jack Foster's mind? Jack Foster picks up the nurses' Ace Jones, takes him, well, oh, and a boot to the face slash chest, well, oh, dropping him on the back of the shoulder right there, one, two, no, two, Jesus, oh, Going to the corner. Jack is busted open. Narciss is Ace Jones. Oh, kick to the knee. Oh, he's going for the Panerai Sunflip. Oh. He's not Adam Cole. He's not undisputed. But Jack Foster is going to try to make the Narciss Ace Jones 
tap out? Is he going to tap out? Is he going to tap out, ladies and gentlemen? No, he doesn't tap out. Jack Foster and the nurses, Ace Jones, going to have to do whatever they got to do to try to put this one, one and done in the bag. Oh, and a nice power bomb. First one, too sweet. But no, Jack Foster taunting, saying no. Too sweet, this. Slams him in the corner, saying you're done. Just slam him down like a rag doll. And he got the win, ladies and gentlemen. And Jack Foster beat the narcissist Ace Jones. But Ace Jones definitely put on a match here, trying to show what he is capable of doing. But he just. Jack Foster, he had the upper hand. He's an OG, so it's understandable. It is understandable, indeed it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here indeed is your winner, is. Jack Foster. And there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen, the OG Jack Foster, ladies and gentlemen. We still got plenty of more content and action here to come for you guys here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Here for this WCW YouTube special with the three championships on the line in the main event. Me and my broadcast partner, the Outlaws, reinforming as a team. But we still got more content to come and action to come, I should, should say, for the matches. And we also got a nice and amazing brother versus brother for the YouTube internet championship and we got an amazing women's internet championship but the following is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring accompanied by Marissa Ronald Ross at a combined weight of 511 pounds chaos but my son Mike Ross Jr.'s wife Marissa Ronald Ross has two new guys right here the guy I believe that's on the I gotta get a better look. I'll be able to tell you who is who. The guy on the the guy on the left is Johnny Watts, I believe, and the guy on yeah, the guy on the left is Johnny Watts, and the guy on the right is Chris Ferris. And then obviously my son, Mike Ross Jr.'s wife, Marissa Ronald Ross. They are chaos, ladies and gentlemen, and they're gonna be causing some chaos here. Indeed, they are, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to see what they're gonna be capable of doing because everyone's going to be bowing down to my son's wife because she's calling herself WCW's mom. But this is going to be an amazing match. We're getting closer to the three championship matches that are going to take place. We got a newcomer for the women's division and that is no other than the animal Buster Hunt's wife finally coming to wrestle. She got a little upset when I decided to re-sign Christy Carter back and give her a YouTube, not a YouTube, a WCW championship match against Marissa Ronald Ross. And she got upset. Eric signed her and gave her a YouTube championship match. And their opponents at a combined weight of 456 pounds, the Cleaners. And the Cleaners, Tyler Webb, which is on the left, and then Dan, which is on the right. They are basically two teams that idolized classic wrestling back in the day in WCW and followed the careers of none other than AEW's FTR because they put on classic wrestling and they love classic wrestling. You don't need to do no flips or all that BS to go get sent to the hospital because that's all that's going to happen, they say. They're, they agree with FTR. You could do other than all those amazing acrobatics that these wrestlers nowadays could put on but we're gonna have to see you got Dan starting things off you got another than I believe Johnny Watts starting things off take some down with ease right there put some into the corner makes a tag Chris, Chris Ferris, Chris Ferris is tagged in, I believe. Well, oh, and that's power bomb. One only gets the one. 
And Chris Ferrer is taunting, saying, come on, bring it on. But Dan, Dan was saying no. And just trying to make him tap out with a nice little leg lock right there. Chris Ferris with a nice reversal there to Dan Webb. Oh, Jesus. Nice spinning heel kick. Makes the tag. Johnny Watts is tagged back in, ladies and gentlemen. And the count is going. Johnny's in getting the ring. Oh, goes for the kick, but a reversal. Dan Webb with a reverse. Oh, what a nice backdrop suplex. Oh, what a clothesline there from Johnny Watts. Clobbering running clothesline. And Johnny's saying, come on, go tag your buddy and see what he's got. Tyler Webb is tagged in. Well. Oh, nice knee to the back right there. And he's saying, come on, get up. Oh, and he gets up and hits him with a big boot to the face. Knocking him down. Throws him onto the ropes now. Over the ropes, out of the ring. Ow! Oh, and he takes Dan off the ropes. Jesus. Ow! Oh, and nice suplex right there. And indeed, this is Tag Team Rush, ladies and gentlemen. And the crowd's loving it. Well, oh, reversal. Oh, nice belly to belly. And a tag has been made in. Dan has been tagged in. He's saying, come on, is that all you got? But you got to stay on it. You got to stay on it. Chris Ferris and Johnny Watts are going to get you, and Chris is doing what he's got to do right now. Jesus. Chaos is showing what they're made of. And that's what you got to do, ladies and gentlemen. This is the very first episode here on the channel, showcasing what you are all about. Busted Dan open, but a reversal right there. But Johnny trying to help his buddy out. Chris Ferris. Well, Jesus. Oh, land him on the head. Jesus. Goes for the pin. One, two, no. And it got broken up. It got broken up because that was not a three. That was a two because that was two. And indeed it was, ladies and gentlemen. Well, in athleticism, Johnny Watts and Chris Furious and Chris Furious goes and tags in Johnny. Back and forth action between these guys as they're tagging each other in. Well, oh, nice. Power Corona hits his first takedown. Another tag has been made in. Well, reversal. Well. Dan Webb. Oh, and a knee to the lower gut. One. No, only a one. What? That's an arm twist right there. <clears throat> Jesus. And the knees. It's just vicious. Oh. Oh. Jeez. The way ah, oh, grabbing that arm. Just wrenching it. One of my thousand moves. Where'd you learn that from, Dan? Where did you learn that from? <laughs> Jesus. Some strong star wrestling there from Chris Ferris. Dagging in Johnny Watts. Reversal. Dan Webb. Jesus, chicken wing suplex. Close for the pin. One. Only a one. Tyler Webb has been tagged in. No. 
Tyler Webb will try to do something, but he missed. He definitely tried, though. He definitely did try. Well, going for the corner. Well, oh, hook on the scissors takedown. Goes for the pin. One. Only a one. Only a one. Jesus. Jesus. Indeed. This is Tag Team Wrestling Wars again. Tag Team Wrestling This is Tag Team Wrestling Wars again, gentlemen. Chris Ferris, he's looking a little dangerous and crazy. Oh no. Jesus. More of that strong style of wrestling from Chris Ferris. Taking it to Darren Webb. Chris Ferris. Oh, oh, oh. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Jesus. Indeed. What the hell, man? You hear the crowd here? Going off. Jesus, indeed. What are these four men triple doing? Jesus. You guys gotta get back in the ring now. Andy, this is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Well, Chris Ferris, nice little dart in the corner. Now tagging in Danny Wong, reversal there from Dan. Dan Webb picks up Johnny Watts, throws him down. He's got a nice submission hold locked in, but he let go of it. Where are you learning these moves from, Dan? I'm, I'm getting my lawyers. You're still in my moves, man. <laughs> I'm teaching you well, ain't I? Watching those videos, ain't you, buddy? Oh, nice club lane running the close line. Taking Tyler Webb down. Chris Ferry is tacked back in. Both of these teams. Well, Jesus. Throwing them down to the map. One. Two. No reversal. That is more than two, ladies and gentlemen, because it was two. Wow. What is this dude going to do? What is four, I should say. Down into the ropes. Well, picked up. Nice reversal hook around the takedown from Tyler Webb. Tyler Webb taking it to Chris Furious. He's got Chris Furious up. Oh, nice knee to the back right there. Oh, landed him on the back of the head and how he twisted those arms. It could not have felt that great. Now they're outside fighting in the ring, but as I say boys, you gotta get this one and done inside the ring. You can't do it outside the ring, you gotta do it inside the ring, because if you do it outside the ring, and it goes to a 10, you guys both lose because it becomes a draw, and you definitely do not want to draw. I hated the days in my wrestling career when I got a draw. I got furious, because I knew I was so close in getting it done. There was a match where... I was going for the pen, and then there was like two seconds left, and the referee went to two, and right before the referee was about to hit three, the bell rung, and I thought I won, but they said no, we didn't win. There was a the time limit for 20 minutes or so. I was furious, because it was a title match too, and it was on TV, so, and it was a medical title, so it wasn't a 60 minute time limit, it wasn't picky game, but I was still furious. I was still furious. What a nice suplex there from Tyler Webb. He's got to make the tag in the game. Just keep on doing back and forth tags, buddy. 
That's all I can tell you. You'll learn in the main event when you see me and my broadcast partner fight. Although we're a tornado mount. But you'll still learn. You'll still learn. Just watch later in the night. Everyone's gonna get the witness backstage. What a sound here. Me and my broadcast partner in the main event. Sometimes you gotta pay lots of money to see two guys like us instead of a squirt circle. <laughs> We're not cheap acts anymore. People realize what we've done and what our worth is. And we're worth a lot, you know. Oh, no, 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 no. Jesus, man. They're gonna just ruin the career of these guys. Jesus. I think I just saw spit coming out of the guy's mouth. All right, Tyler. One, two, three, four, five. Chris Ferris is five headbutts to the face trying to bust him open. Tags in Johnny Wants. Chris Ferris and Johnny Wants. And I guess a runner Ross chose a good team for these two. They're showing some really amazing tag team wrestling here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I can't wait to get more and have more down on what these guys are all about in the future here for this content. But what I'm seeing so far is pretty outstanding between these guys. But I cannot wait to see what things are going to be in the future when I get to know more about these guys and you get to know more about the RP and what these guys are all about, ladies and gentlemen. But this is just basically a start of a tournament that is tonight and it is a special a youtube championship special and basically ladies and gentlemen can I put it one two only two because that is when the main show kicks off then you'll start seeing all the rivalries and the cutscenes that will take place that's going to happen and I can't wait to see all that but right now we're showcasing some of these wrestlers showcasing them what they could do and this is the first episode and maybe a, maybe two or three more episodes before the first show but i gotta get down with my broadcast partner and we gotta get the things recorded for you guys to get that content out and you guys are gonna love the very first episode i got some amazing things that are gonna be taking place and planned that's gonna take on the episodes afterwards taking things off with rivalries and things that could happen to the next level and I can't wait. This is the PC side of things. I could do all this editing, all this creating things that I could not do on the console side of things. And I can't wait to see what it's all going to take and what's holding on. That feels out of kind of seven guys. That feels out of kind of seven. Out of count nine. Oh, and he makes it in at the nick of time. He makes it in at the nick of time. He does. Johnny Watts. Johnny Watts. Oh! Slammed him down hard on the. Goes with a green one. Two. No, that was a two because it was. That's what he ever dropped. Johnny Watts right there. Where's on Johnny Watts' mind? Going to the top rope. Going to the top rope. He's calling for the power rope to get up. Ow! Oh, and the shoulder tackle. Throwing into the corner. Oh, where's on Johnny Watts' mind? No reversal there. Tyler will have a good reversal. Oh! I thought he was going to go for a bullet pin right there. That's what I would have been. One. Oh, 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 oh. What is on, what is on Tyler Webb's mind? 
Oh no no, he's going for the Topa Suicida! Ow! This man is just putting off the stops here tonight. Indeed he is, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed he is, Jesus. Jesus! These guys are just trying to prove a point here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Almost went the whole entire 20 minutes here in this match. Nice boot, taking Tyler Webb down. What is on the mind? What is in the mind of Johnny? Reversal there from Tyler. Tyler, no, reversal there from Johnny. Back and forth action between these two ladies and gentlemen. Back and forth action. Indeed. This is tag team wrestling ladies and gentlemen. Nice stern suplex. Gonna make the tag. Tagging first series. First series. I thought he was gonna go run and knock Miller and Dan Webb down, but he decided, you know what? I was just tricking you off. He taunted, and now he's going after Tyler. Tyler rolls out. Goes back and tags Johnny back in. Johnny saying, come on. Get in the ring. Come, come take the power of chaos. Boot, taking Tyler down. Boot to the face, is that gonna be enough? Is it gonna keep him down? Attacking the leg. Goes for the hit, and Dan Webb over there. Throws a little Tyler into the corner. He's putting him back up there. Is he gonna try to go for He went for it earlier and couldn't do it. Looks like that's about to happen. What is on his mind? What is on his mind? Jesus. One. Oh, I'm broken up. Broken up quickly by Dan right there. Come on. We're getting close to the last minute of this match, ladies and gentlemen. Well, nice, nice power bomb. Taking Tyler Webb down to the ground. Makes a tag. Tags in Chris Furious. Chris Furious is tagged in. Well, nice reversal. Well, oh, nice apex. Alright, Tyler Webb. Tyler Webb. Oh, no, 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 no. Power driver. Jesus. Jesus, you get in someone's career like that. Jesus, man. Going into the corner. Going into the corner. Well, oh. Well, slamming him down to the ground. One, two, no, only a two because that was. Ladies and gentlemen, we are getting down now here to the last 30 seconds of this match, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all better hurry up or it's gonna be a draw, but I won't be as I won't be upset if it's a draw. I won't because you all are proving what you want this tag division to be, showing people like the brothers of destruction, Chris Bear and DVD and the Midnight Express that's gonna be in the main event facing me and my broadcast partner and we're gonna come out looking to find how. Even trying to show me myself what you all are about and the match is over. It's a draw. No, no, no. Get Quinn. Oh, and he hits him on the cross of the ring. But we're kicking things back to the first championship. I'm ready to show you the pain when I start with the way I'll have your fucking head spinning. I know the spin vicious. Release bombs and go kick, kick. Boom, boom, boom. That head missing. 
I'm a phenomenon. Stacking cheese like it's Parmesan. Eight different flows call me Octomom. I'm moving fast, but I don't mind. I'm independent, so I'm not your fucking starving like it's Ramadan. Sick, twisted, gifted, get down. Get rich, they can't hold me down. I shake shit down like when I killed this beat. I might get to lick it. They know how I move. It was predicted. Persistent. Spoken into existence. So consistent. No assistance. Here we want to come and kick it. If I rip it, then I rip it. Then I rip it. And we're getting this kicked off, so <laughs> let's see what these two amazing, beautiful, professional women dresser has to offer. Now I know Christina, she's been working at TNA, to be honest with you, for the past couple of years. And I've been watching her. And she was upset I didn't want to sign her. I totally forgot about her. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW Women's Internet Wrestling Championship. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Princess Tiffany Diamond. And Princess Tiffany Diamond is making her way down to the ring, ladies and gentlemen. As I said, the wife of Duke Diamond and as she makes her way down here to the ring with the splits that she does, Jesus I, I don't think you will ever see me catching me doing that if I did Ugh, I mean, you're gonna see me crying maybe. <laughs> but no, yeah, Tiffany Diamond she's flexible, she's trained with people like another you know, Charlotte Flair She's trained with a lot of other amazing, cool wrestlers. And I can't wait to see what she's all about. But I can't wait to see this amazing wrestler that's been doing good in TNA in the knockouts division. Now and from Knoxville, Tennessee, Christina Hunt. Now, I'm not only wrong. You may look at her and be like, eh, she's not the most beautiful woman in the world. Or you may not like her curves or whatnot. Gotta imagine, she had two kids. She had what you will see here in the future Jessica Hunt and Don Hunt, which is Buster's youngest son, and then the older daughter, but she only has two kids. But I mean, if he's to have any more, which I know Christina said when she done wrestling, she at least wants to have one or two more. She wants to make the family big, but she's still got plenty more years along with Buster before they retire. And who knows, maybe by then she may not want kids. Who knows? But look at that beautiful YouTube championship that YouTube designed for the YouTube tournament. This is the women's first championship tournament for the YouTube division. Maybe in the next couple months or a year, YouTube will do another tournament. But until then, this is going to be determined like what AEW does for the Owen Hart Cup tournament. And it's going to determine who is another than the women's YouTube internet champion and the winner that gets the full that belt. Now, do they walk around the belt every week? No. They win it and it plays. And they can put it home on the mantle. And then next year, you know, then newcomers will challenge for a new set of belts, whether they look the same or whether they're updated and changed differently, you know? But yeah, so we're gonna have to see what all these women are about when the show kicks off and see what they're gonna be proving here in the women's division. We saw Shirley Walker and Ashley Webb earlier. They put on an amazing match. We saw a lot of amazing men's matches take place. Tag matches already take place. And you're gonna see my tag match take place. And you guys are gonna be off your minds, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty soon. I'll be leaving and going backstage with my buddy. I'm putting on my gear and we'll be getting ready to show the Midnight Express that we are the best tag team in the world. And no matter how much I still and will, even if I beat them, call them the best tag team in this generation. But out of all generations, we're the best tag team. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. hey, whoa. watch my desk, watch my desk. Jesus, Tiffany. Don't do what you're 
husband does. Oh, I don't care if your name is Diamond. Just because Duke does does what he does, don't don't follow his footsteps. He's ripped this many times off and put my broadcast partner up there, and I did not want to witness that. The battles they had went through. Who knows? They may go to. Come on, Tiffany, quit! Jesus, this is my desk. Go go over there to those three stooges. But yeah, and then you might see them battle out in the future again, you know? Because I don't got the content. If you catch my drift. <laughs> and I want to have memorable content of things that happened in the past that could have happened. And you guys could have got to see. But, I mean, now you can't because I didn't want no copyright videos. And I want to start fresh and, you know, make everything better, you know? Well, nice elbow drop right there. Well, nice side slam to the body right there. And you see as these two beautiful women have been fighting out here for a minute that the referee has not been counting because the reason why the referee is not counting all championship matches here in WCW are going to get the limit of not counting. You're here to show everyone what this is all about. Now, obviously, if you use a weapon, you will get disqualified. And my rules are a little bit different. If you use the weapon to get disqualified, as Christina goes for a 10 but only gets a 1 but my rules are and I, I discussed this with Eric and Eric agreed if you use a weapon in the end of the match and you get disqualified then whoever you hit the weapon on no matter um, certain wrestling rules goes for the pin is Tiffany Diamond 1, 2 no only a 2 because that was Yeah, if you use a weapon and the opponent that was facing you was the one that got hit and the champion used it, automatically you lose and the challenger is the new champion. And so, you gotta wrestle because this ain't entertainment. This ain't where we're in the ring dancing around doing these scripts. We're in here put on wrestling because this is WCW World Championship Wrestling. This is, well, uh, I don't want to swear. If the crowd could swear for me, they would say the F-bomb in wrestling. Yeah, I know YouTube, they don't really like my language. No, Jesus, Christina. Christina. Going to the top. That's on her mind. Oh, she misses. She misses. Tiffany Diamond taking it to Christina Hunt. And he just a wrestling move and then. That's where the pain only gets the one. Only gets the one. Definitely gonna have to do more. Try to put her away. Indeed. But Christina Hunt, and I've been watching her in TNA in the knockouts division. She's been doing good over there. Nice backdrop right there. Reversal there. Back and forth action between these two. Taking her down by the leg right there. Getting back up with Christina, but no. Tiffany Diamond with a nice re reversal with a submission. Trying to make Christina tap. Is Christina gonna tap, ladies and gentlemen? Referee's asking. Referee is asking her. She's saying no, not today, Tiffany. Not today. I am not tapping out. Well, well. Christina. Christina. 
Alright. Nice elbow. Taking her down. Picks her up. Oh, Jesus. Watch the arm. Jesus. God. One. Two. No. this dude what the hell how did it what the that was uh, what did I just what did we just witness ladies and gentlemen the lights went off and the lights kicked back on and then you saw Christina behind Tiffany but Tiffany she's got her finishing maneuver in. She's got the figure eight, what she calls it, leg lock locked in. She's trying to make Christina Hunt tap out on her debut, which kind of is Tiffany's debut, but I mean, that's WCW history for even back in the console days, Christina, I never met my parents. This is her first time. And that's because a lot of factions are being here. And Buster, you know, he had to bring up the faction. And, you know, everyone, everyone's getting protection nowadays for some reason. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, and if Buster wins that championship against his father at the upcoming first episode of WCW, we'll kick things off. And we come out the WCW champions. And if he so wins, he's going to have a target on his back. He may want to get himself. Some people looking after him, you know? I mean, that's what I would personally do. And Christina is taking it to Tiffany Diamond saying, come on. Come on, bring it. Takes Tiffany Diamond. Oh, Tiffany Diamond, what a reversal that from Christina. Taking it to Christina. Well, well. Throws Christina in the corner, still clean though, reverse it over Christina. Takes Tiffany down, picks her back up. Well, Jesus! Slamming a head back down on the map. It's really hard. Oh, jeez! Jesus! Now well, that's gotta be it. That's gotta be it. One, two, no! Indeed, two, three, indeed. Oh, Jesus. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Christina. Indeed, this is wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. This is freaking wrestling. Christina. Trying to make Tiffany tap. Tiffany with a reversal. Saying, no, I am not going to tap. Taking it to no living. Christina is Tiffany. She's got to do whatever she's got to do to try to get herself to try to win this match, you know? Oh, Christina, she's going to try to go for the slap to the face, but no, reversal. Tiffany Diamond taking it to Christina, throwing her back and forth, running back and forth against her up. She's going to do something, but she, she, she was trying, probably trying to wear her out. Oh, Jesus. Stomping all over the back of Tiffany. She's trying to make her run away or out. Goes for the pin. Is this going to be it? One, two, no. Indeed. She's leading these ladies and gentlemen. Nice back drop kick right there. And she's just sitting there watching Tiffany saying, Come on. Give me your best shot. Going straight after her. Slaps her in the face at the end. She's saying, come on, bring it on. Well, well, Jesus. One, two, 
Three. Okay. Okay. For his first debut move since the Ninja Championship. Even though it's a, a championship that's going to be coveted. So you can hold and not go any wrong. Here is your winner. And new WCW Women's Internet Wrestling Champion, Christina Hunt. Indeed, this is awesome. We're continuing to invite me, ladies and gentlemen, to take notes. Look out, brother versus brother. We got two guys that first got us on. Got a kind of view. And they want to mold them into each of the WCW. And then they want to do it. How does it do it? It's a flow. It's going to be optimized. I'm moving fast. I'm moving fast. I'm moving fast. So I'm not your fucking starving like it's Ramadan Sick and twisted, gifted, can't stop me, bring the cat Hold me down, I shake shit, I'm like when I took this beat I might get convicted, they know how I move It was predicted, persistent Spoke it into existence, so consistent, no assistance Here we want to become a dick and if I rap it, then I let it go No time and I be clean, that's what they want you want Bitch, I'm a fucking phenomenon Who's gonna get the job done? Who's going to be walking out? The battles they had back in the past is amazing. You're about to see an amazing battle here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So, let's get on with this amazing show. Let's get on with this amazing match, ladies and gentlemen. Because we're one step closer to the main event where you're about to see me inside the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And is for the WCW Men's. Internet Wrestling Championship! Making his way to the ring, representing Evolution from Biloxi, Mississippi, weighing in at 240 pounds, the anarchist Chris Carter Jr. You got Gabriel Gates in the middle, you got Draven, the future Dynamite Hopkins on the right, and on the left you got the anarchist Chris Carter Jr., the OG that has done it all back on the council days for me, and even on the council days on my broadcast partner side. He's done a lot for us both. He is a future legend like Buster is, because Buster's done a lot as well, like my son Maverick, my youngest son, my oldest son Mike Ross Jr., like people like Jack Foster who you saw. Others like Zack Sabre and Elijah Wolf and C Cody Hall and Chris Danger, all those are legends in the future that's going to be eventually taking place and marked down because that's what they are, is legends. But these three right here, you got two future legends, Draven and Gabriel. And then the anarchist Chris Carter Jr. Amazing, amazing, amazing. These guys, they did good back in the past when Carter found them, and they're gonna do good now. I I see them as something in the future. But my eyes are on Terry and Tommy. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion. Other people could have different opinions, but mine is Terry and Tommy. But here comes his brother, ladies and gentlemen. The animal. Buster Hunt, ladies and gentlemen, with his special counsel, Paul Heyman. his opponent accompanied by their special counsel Paul Heyman from Mount Olympus weighing in at 280 pounds the animal buster hunt and the animal buster hunt ladies and gentlemen making his way down to the ring now he is representing the bloodline which is him and then his wife more, um, Christina, and then uh, Jessica, I believe her name is, and then Don, and they are the Hunt family, and they are the ones, they say we are the ones, and they are the bloodline, along with their special counsel, 
other than the wise man, Paul Heyman. Just like the anarchist, he's got evolution. Just like none other than with evolution, you got Christy Carter a part of it. And you got Christian Carter a part of it. And then just like Evo um, evolution, you got another than like with the bloodline, you got another than the brawling boots, which is another than Miles McGregor, Terry Owens, and Tommy. And then you got Imperium, which is Evan, Dylan, and Dustin. And then they also got two other guys, which I don't know who they are yet, that they have in mind. Which, at the end of the video, <laughs> out of RP, he'll see who they are. But in RP, technically, I don't know who they are. But this is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. This WCW YouTube News Internet Championship. And indeed, this is wrestling, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, it is. But yeah, so a lot of amazing things to take place. But yeah, at the end, I'll showcase some of the new upcoming things that you'll see in the future. And then some of the titles that you will see. I did some updates. So in the first show, you will see that they look a little different than what they look now when you see them later. But that's because I did a little bit of updating to them and whatnot, you know. So... We got another than the Animal Buster Hunt versus the Anarchist Chris Carter, brother versus brother. These two, as I said, put on amazing, phenomenal matches back in the past. They even had matches with their father. As the Anarchist Chris Carter doing their taunts right there to his brother, but his brother, the Animal Buster Hunt, takes him down with a nice drop kick. And takes him down right there as hard as he can indeed doing whatever he's got to do to try to show everyone that he wants to win going to the top rope nice elbow drop onto the anarchist Chris Carter Jr. goes for the pin one only gets a one not even a two not even a two oh no, no, come on I didn't say it was a two that was a one ah dude these crowds this crowd. <laughs> oh, what is on the mind? What is on the mind of the animal buster hunt? Holy Pulling out all the steps. Pulling out all the stops. Trying to show everyone what this is all about. And indeed, but the referee is in the way, but I thought the end of this cut it. No, he is. He's fighting his way back into this one. This is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Well, well, ow! A nice slam to the back. A nice slam, indeed. I'm gonna stomp the chest. Oh, this is gonna go for it again. But the anarchist with a reversal saying no. He's saying, come on, get up. The animal buster gets up. Nice kick to the face again in the chest area, taking him down. Getting all angry in the ring, saying, come on, brother. Give me your best shot. Nice hit to the face, taking him down. And what does the animal buster have on his mind? He's picking up the anarchist. Going for a swing. Neckbreaker, no. Hits him in the back of the head. Jesus. Goes for the pin. One. Oh, only gets the one. Only gets the one. He doesn't get the two. No. Come on. Come on, guys. Jesus. No. That wasn't two. That was one. That was one. They want to hear me say two all the time and then just go too sweet. I, 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 you guys better not. You get, you get the animal buster hunt taking it to the anarchist sitting on the back of the head. Powerbomb slam onto the mat with authority. Goes for the pin. One, two. 
Yes, yeah, see? Now that was too sweet. <laughs> yeah, this crowd could be something sometimes, you know? And the anarchist Chris Cutter Jr. taunting. He's busted open, he's bleeding. But hey, he's doing whatever he's got to do to try to stay in this one shot. The one that he wants to walk out as your first ever WCW's YouTube Internet Wrestling Champion, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, indeed, he does. We're going to find out and see if that's exactly what's going to happen. Indeed, we will. Just attacking the face, slamming the face in the mat, maybe trying to bust his brother open. And that's exactly what I would do. That's exactly what I would do. Well, throws him into the corner. Well, reversal. Hey, be careful, Draven. Be careful, Gabriel. You can't get involved in this match. You don't want Carter to lose. Buster will become champion. You see why the wise man's standing over there. He wants nothing to do with those guys. He knows better. He's here to manage. And that's what they should be doing. Well, well. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Into the barricade. These, these two put out the stops to do whatever they got to do to try to get the job one and done inside the match, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy. Oh, a nice elbow drop to the back right there. Chris Carter, the anarchist, saying, come on, bring it on. Bring it on. Jesus. Trying to bust his brother open, maybe. Stomp it on the chest. I was gonna try to break that up, break that arm, break the hand. The same, bring it on, brother. Over there, taunting. Well, nice knee to the face right there. He's just staying in the attack of his brother. That's what you gotta do, Chris. That's what you gotta do. Two, three, four, five, six. The animal just feeling it, grabbing that face. He's trying to bust them open and make them bleed. Well, slamming Anarchist Chris Carter down to the ground. Goes over into the corner, tries to crawl, get himself back up, but the animal goes over there and picks him up and slams him down with a nice power slam into the ground with a nice power bomb. Picking those legs up and picking up the ease and now stomping on the fingers, doing what the anarchist did to him and saying, This guy's done. I'm about to beat him here tonight. I don't think that's what you're going to do. I do not think that's what you're going to do. Push it again. One, two. What is any animal buster on its mind? No, 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 not the hardest part of the ring, not the hardest. Oh, Jesus. It's the hardest part of the ring, guys. Jesus. Indeed, this is awesome, but that's a crazy. We're ending right there. Indeed. Awesome indeed. Jesus. The stuff out. Oh, what is on Buster's mind? Going for a submission hold. Gonna try to make his brother tap out. Is his brother going to tap? We are going to find out. Indeed we are. Is his brother going to tap? Is the anarchist going to tap? No. The anarchist gets out of it. The anarchist gets out of it. Indeed. It says Justin. The anarchist just started. 
Nice shot to the chest. Now, oh, Carter, 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 Carter. This is it. This is all she wrote. One, two, three. And here's your winner, ladies and gentlemen, for the men's YouTube championship. None other than the anarchist Chris Carter Jr. I'm going to go step away, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to be joined by my son. So, take it over, son. Alrighty, thank you, Dad. How's it going, everyone? Here is your winner, and new WCW Men's Internet Wrestling Champion, the anarchist Chris Carter Jr. That was a good match, Patrick. That was a good match. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Ross Jr. here. My father, he had, uh, had to go backstage. He already had a lot, most of his gear, and he's just got to get the rest of it on. It's going to be an amazing match, ladies and gentlemen. I've never seen my father in the anarchist, the outlaw. His father, Chris Carter Sr., the last remaining outlaw, and my father, the Cadillac Cowboy, the outlaw, stepped back into the ring. It's going to be an amazing match, indeed it is. I can't wait to see what's going to take place here in this main event for the WCW YouTube World Internet Tag Team Wrestling Championship. On the left, my father says, play the best tag team here in the WCW from 16, all the way from 16, all the way from 2019. The Men Express on the left, Bon Hall on the left, the Men Express on the left, the Men Express on the left, the Men Express on the left, the last remaining outlaw, the legend, Chris Carter Sr., and on the right, the Cadillac Cowboy, the man of the thousand holes, the legend, my father, the man of the outlaw, the man of the outlaw, they're about to win some top class shows. They're not about to show why they are better than the Men of Express. Because in my opinion, I think they are. So let's get on with this amazing, amazing main event, ladies and gentlemen. Here for fucking CW YouTube Internet Wrestling Championship Special. Here for the main event for the WWE YouTube World Tag Team and the Wrestling Championship. The Men of Express versus the Outlaws, ladies and gentlemen. Devon Hall, the Metal Trip, the Men of Express versus the Men of the Last Men of the the Legend, the First Brother Senior, the Cadillac Cowboy, the Man of the Thousand Holes, the Legend, Mike Ross Senior, my father, here in the main event. It's a Tornado Tag Match. Let's get on with this match, ladies and gentlemen. And here they come, ladies and gentlemen. The Minute Express. The following contest is a Tornado Tag Team Match and is for the WCW Internet World The Tag Team Wrestling Championship. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 502 pounds, the Midnight Express. Minute Express, ladies and gentlemen, making our way down here to the ring. I've never physically fought them like in a tag match, but I would love to, uh, you know, face them one on one to see what they're about. But they're more about the tag wrestling. They was gonna do a singles career back on the region side when region was in charge of things. And but not even though the show is sponsored by the region gaming and that used to be out of rp another channel oh shit eric's telling me to keep quiet all right keep quiet eric
lights just went off, ladies and gentlemen. They are coming. My father and his broadcast partner, the wrestling in the network, Chris Carter Sr., ladies and gentlemen. The Cadillac Cowboy and the wrestling in the network are making their way down to the ring. This is awesome and beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. This is awesome and beautiful. Holy cow. Dear Buckle Goodness. Fury, Pride, Man of Hearts, and Man of Buckle Goodness. Man the best match that you'll ever see in WCW history. Here they come, ladies and gentlemen. Holy shit. Holy shit. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 469 pounds, the Outlaws! And the Outlaws, ladies and gentlemen, my father, the Cadillac Cowboy, the man of a thousand holds, the living legend, Mike Ross Sr. on the left and on the right, the Outlaw, the last of the Outlaw, now we are again, the living legend himself, Chris Carter Sr. And they are about to show you all some outlaw shit. This is cowboy country. This is some outlaw shit, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, this is awesome. This is awesome, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tag Team Wrestling. The Manila Express. My father and his broadcast partner. Oh, Jesus. Taking Granik, this is Father Ryan. And I believe I'm being told by uh, Eric Bischoff that I believe this is a two out of three tornado match. And I believe that's what he just told me, ladies and gentlemen. I don't really know how to work this desk. It's not nothing I do. I'm a wrestler. This is my father's stuff, and I don't know what all these buttons do. And I got a submission hold locked in on my father into the ring. And the crowd's definitely looking at this scene here tonight. One. That's the first house of the ring. I'm going to move the first one. Oh. Reversal. Back and forth action between the two outside of the ring. And I'm also being told by Eric Bishop that this is a match where you gotta be inside the ring because there is a count out. So you can count it out and the victory can go to the other team. But he said this is wrestling. And he told me that's what I gotta tell you guys. This is wrestling ladies and gentlemen. This is WCW. This is World Championship Wrestling. This is wrestling and watch out father. Don't hit the ref. <laughs> but yeah this is wrestling. This ain't entertainment. We're here to wrestle. We got like a power ranking going on. And that's something AEW got rid of and they're bringing back and they should have never got rid of it. The power ranking system works really well. Wins and losses count. Now, obviously we're not going to display the wins and losses in the screen. I mean, if one of my lovely viewers out there would love to sit there and make a little sheet and whatnot and invite me on Google Docs and keep track of my records. I'd be down with that, but me personally, it's something that I'm not going to keep track of because I got plenty of more content besides this I got to do, so I can't just put my time and focus and effort on to this, which I do a lot of it because a lot of it 
requires editing to make this feel like a good show if you catch my drift so obviously I got to do what I got to do to make it feel more legit get rid of all the loading screens and all the BS you know and make it to where it feels legit so that takes a good chunk of my time editing and recording and whatnot because not only do I got to record the show I got to record it without my audio then I got to edit the show then after editing the show I got to record the show which is basically putting my commentary behind it which I'm doing now for you guys and then after I do that then I got to go render the show one last time going for a penis of the ring one are you going to break it up no only one but then the fourth time is I gotta render it one last time because I gotta snip it out just a little bit of the beginning and a little bit of the end when I go to start the recording and then play the video and get the show ready for you guys, you know? Oh, crap. Dad, what did you just... I didn't know my father could pull out a type of suicida. But yeah, but it takes time, four different times of rendering. And I don't mind doing it four different times because recording it the first time is recording the matches. And the matches don't take that long to record. It takes about maybe almost about an hour of my day sitting here. And while it's recording, I do other things and whatnot, you know, so. I record and then when I'm done I edit it put all the cool amazing things in there sometimes maybe I'll put some of the reactions and whatnot in the video where it's already rendered you know that way I don't gotta use my soundboard on discord and do all these cool amazing sounds going for the pin one two no that was only two making it Going for the pin. One. Oh, breaks breaks it up. My little quick says, "Not today, Michael Senior. Not today, my my father is not getting that done today." But yeah, so it takes me four different times because I mean, as I said, I record the first part. I do other things while it's recording. Obviously, I mean, as it's recording the demo thing, then I edit the video. Sometimes I put my cool amazing sound fonts in there, and sometimes which a lot of the episodes I may not put them in and do them while the show's going but sometimes they will be in it just it depends like with me out of RP making my return to the ring I did the, the Legends Never Die skit like how you know some pay-per-views and whatnot people have their special engines and that's what we did and then we came out you know type deal so I mean I, I do the cool things like that and after that the third time is putting my commentary behind it and then I run well technically I only render it three times but I record four times if you catch my breath well don't record four I record two I record the show and then I record it when it's all fully done edit it and whatnot and then I render it uh three times so but it's a little, as my father gets busted open right there, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus. But it's a little process that I gotta do, you know. And I don't mind doing it. I really don't mind doing it. Jesus. Oh, I took my show to see ya. Jesus! These two are putting out the line. But they can't get to this. You sick fucks. You sick fucks. You sick fucks. These people back behind by my dad's desk over here. I, I get where he comes from sometimes. I just they chant what they want. They can't, guys, they can't use tables. Get disqualified. I mean, I mean technically, Eric's telling me in my headset right now they can slam through the announce table. That's not illegal, but 
<laughs> I, I, I don't know. I, I, I justify it otherwise. It's still a table. Go for the pin. One, two, only a two, make a net. Indeed. Tag Team Wrestling. Tag Team Wrestling. Indeed, ladies and gentlemen, Tag Team Wrestling. This crowd is getting a witness an amazing main event. Seeing my father and his broadcast partner, The Outlaws, two WCW legends out of RP back in the ring as a team. As, a, as he said, they pay a lot of money to see this. And indeed, you do. But you gotta pay a lot of money to see the first show when I take him one on one and I defeat him and I take that title away from him and I become the WCW Intercontinental Champion. Not him. Not him. He doesn't deserve to be that Intercontinental Champion whatsoever. And then when I win that belt, I got a new design that I wanna bring to show you guys. Another than the last remaining outlaw, the legend, Chris Carter Sr. Nice stolen suplex right there. Taking it to Camilla Cook. My father trying to make Devon Hall tap. Devon Hall with a nice reversal. He's not going to tap. Oh, nice DDT right there. Takes the, the last remaining outlaw down. Goes for a pin. One, two. Only gets a two. Making that. Nice drop kick. Nice drop kick indeed. My father's back in the ring. Oh, takes down. Carmelo Cook goes for the pin. Gets broken up right away by Javon. My father saying, better stay ready, Javon. Ain't got time to be taunting. Carmelo Cook, oh, taking it to my father. Hitting with a nice little famous show right there from Nick Nemeth. Wow. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. They both jumped. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus, and someone's busted open. I think it's my father. Come on, father. You got this one. Jesus. Yes, they do still got it, ladies and gentlemen. They do. They're showing you hit or night, but they still got it. Indeed, they do. They do still got it. And a super kick right there from Javon Hall to the outlaw legend, Chris Carter Sr. Oh, taking him down. But now, Kamala Cook going to take down Mike Ross Sr., my father. Oh, reversal from... The man of a thousand holds, the legend. Well, well, oh, taking him down. Well, well, well. Jesus, Miss DDT to the ground right there. From Northern Cook to Chris Senior. My father, Mike Senior. We're over about a concrete area close from there. Jesus. Don't, don't get slammed on the concrete, Dad. Well. Time to get back in the room. And sitting there doing some old school wrestling. It's my father right there. One, two, three. And 
the Outlaws. They got their first win, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, it is one, and it is zero. And is this going to be it? Is this where they get their second win? Father just went for a finish and move one, two, three, and they did. They are your winners, ladies and gentlemen, of the main event. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. I'm Mike Ross Jr. And I ain't gonna step away from the family to the best. I will see you all at the next episode of My Father Will. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. See you all next time. The